my heart's in the soul. That's all. Yeah, get, 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 get your head get in the game. game. Gotta get, you. yeah. get your head in the game, Gus. Come on, Gus. What's up guys, welcome to episode 9 of the Coffee Club. Uh, you got your boy Morgan here and alongside me we have... George, Ollie, and our boy Gus, who hasn't been introduced yet. So this is Angus, he's our... Um, Yours. My dog, I guess it's not ours. <laughs> he's my dog, he likes eating um, AirPods and ice. He likes tearing up Geordie's shoes. He loves glasses. He loves glasses. He's he eating about a thousand dollars worth of glasses. Uh, Actually, minimum, probably more. Minimum thousand. A thousand dollars of glasses. <laughs> he has a similar taste for electronics, like his father. So yeah, he likes th expensive stuff, doesn't he? Buddy? Yes, he yes, does. I know. But that's and, guys, uh, yeah. but he's he's very well loved. He's just a bit of a uh, imbecile. And he's the inspiration for the logo. And he's yeah. the inspiration for the logo. And he's probably the. Uh, there, good boy. There we go. Yeah, he's Looking the emblem right of us. The epitome of me is... He's only in dog form, and that's why we love him. It's just us today. Yeah. So yep. today we don't have a guest. You know, we've had... An, I think almost accidentally we had an amazing streak of... Mm. Like, we had a streak of amazing guests, I should say. We didn't even really... Well, like I didn't really plan it. Exactly. But you kind of just knocked it off every <clears throat> week, which was very, very nice. Yeah. Well, Lee just showed up at our door. Yeah, that, that was awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Joe Hardy. Yep. Joe Hardy. Just same on our couch. We're like, oh... May as well. Harvey, Harvey comes in. Yeah, as well. Was just just I guess Leo. Right place, right Leo, time. obviously. Well, Leo, easy. we wanted to get on because as soon as we talked about the f like the female social media stuff, which he talked about on episode two, I think we were like, all right, we need to get we need so to get someone <laughs> in on this. That's actually <laughs> let's get some diversity on yeah. this issue. So we got Leo, and then who else did we have? After Joey. that, we had Joey. that was more of a real guess. Yeah, I feel like we're missing someone. But huh, oh well, Nick. Oh, yeah, also, we had Nick Harris. Nick Harris. We, who Carlos, else? we had Nick Carlos Harris and Carlos. and Carlos. Yeah, see, this is just like they don't even feel like guests because no, they're, like, <laughs> they're going to be reoccurring people that we'll have on the pod from they're time just, to like, time. So obvious to have, but yeah. yeah, so it's just us today. So we're going to be catching up, sharing our feelings and our deep, dark, and intimate secrets. Ollie has a lot of those to share, which we'll get to. But firstly, Ollie's been saving up some hot takes. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of hot takes, a lot of drama going on for him. But, I love it how you guys just kind of just start with that, you know. It's taken oh. nine episodes to have an iced coffee, I've just realized. Yeah, yeah drinking yeah. cold coffee. We're drinking iced, iced coffee today, so I hope you're having an iced coffee listening to us as well because it tastes very good. It's very delightful after a big workout this morning. Mm -hmm. Hits the spot. But So last episode we said we'd give away uh, hams, beans. I can't tell if it's called ham beans or hearse beans, but I think one it's of the Hearst <coughs> ham, ham beans. beans. Hearst ham beans shirt to the best bean related comment on our YouTube and we had a clear winner, which, <laughs> well, okay, so this was DM, was this DM? It was, yeah, yeah. Oh, it wasn't on the YouTube, because well, I thought, I, I think I saw a similar comment on the YouTube. I, I thought know. I saw it on YouTube. We'll have to check the tapes, but this could be a tie if they did the exact same comment. The current winner. But yeah, current winner uh, is Andrew Meany, Mr. Meany. His <laughs> bean joke was, what's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I've never had a garbanzo bean on my face before. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Which, require any explanation. No, not at all. Genius. So we'll we'll check the, we'll the check comments the just in case. Otherwise, we'll message Andrew. We'll message you. You get either a, a red or a blue shirt. Be part of the bean gang with us. Congratulations. Maybe some like dried pinto beans or something super exciting. Yeah, we can like probably that. send beans as well. We do have a lot of beans. He probably wants chickpeas and, and uh, what are yeah, maybe he's a big chickpea they're, guy. They're the same thing. Oh, well, he probably wants. Yeah, we'll, those, send, him, those we'll send him. We'll send him a lot of those. But uh, yeah, and then the other shout out we have is so we started. Uh, I think you could call it, call it like kind of a slow rollout on our Movember. Like we didn't come in hot with anything with it really. I think we got to put up on our Instagram like today or something. But we really do. <laughs> shout out to Mr. Wom Tang, Tom, Tom Wang. Wang. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the moment he's leading the charge for our biggest fan. We definitely love MVP <laughs> of Instagram. Also, right YouTube, he does good comments as Wait, well. Really? His comments are great on YouTube, yeah. Like, his, his comment yesterday, were, actually, his comment on the Instagram yesterday was great. Where he, I think it was like two hours after the we released it. He's like, oh, this episode was the best. I've already listened to it four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> <laughs> and then on all, the, on all the the bio posts that we did on our Instagram, which check that out if you haven't seen them yet because they were pretty funny. He always had 
good good comments like i think on on geordie's one because i said one of your nicknames was adonis one of his comments was adonis has been awfully quiet since this, <laughs> since this yeah, came out right. so he's very funny but he also donated uh exactly a hundred dollars and 69 cents to our movember campaign uh trying to raise money for that so thank you very much for that we do appreciate that thank you very much thanks tom for yeah. supporting means mental health yeah, it's quite unexpected and uh, we really appreciate it. So we are doing the Movember stuff as well. So we'll put another link to that in the description of this video or wherever you're listening or watching to it. So hopefully we can raise a bit of money for some pretty legit issues. We'll probably, and we do, we're still, we'll, more details on the giveaway that we mentioned. Yeah. Probably more OAC related stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, It'll be OAC related. Some mustache content. Yeah. yeah. I think next week we'll we'll have a competition. Probably something requiring like a picture with mustaches on our Instagram or something like that. So keep growing those moes if you are along with us. Uh, we all got pretty nice moes today. Yeah. I mean, George, you kind of have to shave your beard thing. I know. I literally I need to just shaved the much. last day we filmed the pod. Oh, really? I, I just feel like I, yours is much more, like, it's just much more noticeable for us. Like, it's just because it's, it's just general. Yeah. Stubble, it's it, we still get away with the mo, but with you because you could it looks more detailed. Yeah. Yeah. I look I look much less like a sex fiend than you do. Yeah, I know. I look really like I shouldn't be around children. <laughs> so, which is a good look, you know. In November, it's uh, a lot of them. You're doing around. it right. If you shouldn't go to a playground, you're doing it right. Yeah, I know. But I still a, go to the playground anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice segue into uh, a lot of sex offender looking guys out on the cricket pitch this morning. I tell you what. Can you put yeah, your glass stop down? Doing that. <laughs> fucking list loud. No, you can just you can put it down. You just don't don't slam it. Well, I got yeah. excited about your yeah. comment. That's the only thing. I got excited about your comment, so I put the put the glass down. So this is, one's over. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I think that's it. Anything else? No. No. But rolling into, I mean, this is probably going to alienate like all of our US viewers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the sport of cricket, which is very popular in our home countries of Australia and New Zealand, but. Over the last couple of weeks, there's been the T20 World Cup, which is, it's a form of cricket. It's like the most exciting and sh short form. And the grand final of the World Cup was on this morning and Australia and New Zealand were playing each other. And I'm very pleased to announce that Australia got the, got the victory. It's a, it's pretty huge for, <coughs> for massive cricket fans like Ollie and I. We uh, Turned in for the last two games. <laughs> yeah. So we, honestly, if, if George wasn't here, Ollie and I probably wouldn't have watched one game. No, but, there's absolutely no chance. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know what you say about that. It's not that we don't care, it's that... I we think, just didn't know what it was on. I right? think you can just say that Ollie and I are much more present in, our, in the world <laughs> around us. You know, we're kind of more of what's going on in the here and now, whereas George is like, oh, I'm yeah, from New Zealand. I'm I'm from New Zealand. Gotta, well, the, the, the greatest thing about it was the two games that we watched were probably two of Australia's best games. Yeah, in, well, in we watched the semi in the final. And the semi against so. Pakistan, oh. Pakistan was highly ranked. Yeah. And then New Zealand played against England, which semis. was a very good game. That's and then the final seemed like a good game still. We should yeah, probably we should, watch the highlights. So we should say we only got to watch the first half of it because the game started at 7 a.m. this morning, uh, mountain time, and then we had a workout at 9 a.m. So we watched it, and then we had the commentary. Well, we didn't have the commentary, and we had these... No, uh, we had these guys from New Zealand. George, you want to explain? Uh, <laughs> what, it, what it was ins inspiring the pod right now really yeah no, um some some guys called the alternative commentary collective woke up at like 3 a.m in new zealand yeah. to commentate the cricket they were so like not funny. legit but they run like a radio show they were hilarious. hilarious they mostly just roast the australian team. The whole time. Yeah, they, they, had, they, had they were kind of roasting everyone. our own team as well they, had they got good for, nicknames for well, everyone the, yeah, they had the nicknames battle. for every single player the uh, batter and wicketkeeper that broke his hand by punching his bat when he got out, they were saying, like, how the hell could you break your hand from the way you punched it because it looks so made of glass. Light. Yeah. So they're inspiring us. So from this, this moment forth, I think we need to also have nicknames for people. The only two that come to mind right now, because these are both Ollie-isms, is Carissa Swarza. 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 Like you Schwarzenegger. So Carissa, your name from now, from henceforth is Carissa Schwarzer. And then we also will refer to Sidious Mag as Citrus Mag. Citrus Mag, yeah. Because it just rolls off the tongue it a little bit. It just sounds nice. A couple of Ollie-isms. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds nice, you know. I What's the other Ollie name? Ollie actually thought those were both. Yeah, no, I, I am an idiot. <laughs> Originally. I looked at like, Definitely the, thought that was Citrus Mag. I looked at the spelling and everything like that, and I still, my brain still told me. This citrus. Is what, this citrus. Is what, citrus. Is what, <laughs> this is what they actually said. <laughs> the same as like Swiser is like, I looked at it, it's like, a Swiser. 
It's like this is not correct. Yeah. Luckily, I have George here to say, mm, actually, yeah, not right, Ollie. You know, if you make a mistake, George is always there to correct you. So that's and make you feel bad about it. So that's that's a good thing. That's you know? one of his, it makes you feel like you're, best traits, you know, yeah. <laughs> you should you should really question your no, life. I, you I do that it's, like it's more just bullying. <clears throat> no, you guys enjoy bullying me, but that's what I'm here for. You know, punching bag. Yeah. Really, I am here for for you guys to feel better about yourselves. <laughs> no one can take it quite as well as Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> he dishes it out though. He I does. have to. What, am I just going to sit here and take it all the time? Exactly. Exactly. I might dish it out. It might not be very effective. Okay. Might be like okay. a little like a little little. Ollie, like, Ollie has Ollie has some days where he's just from the from the crack of dawn. He's just so unfunny. Like you wake up and make a joke, and it's just so bad. But then you'll have some days where he's just the funniest guy. Well, in the, the double, world. the double yesterday was good. We had a great double together yesterday, and Ollie invented a whole. Was it a book or a TV show? It was a cartoon. A cartoon about George and George's imagine. Well, no, imaginary <laughs> endangered bird called Petey. And Petey was going to be voiced by Dane DeVito, and George was going to like have all these adventures. Halfway with... through, he changed voices. Yeah, he changed uh, voices halfway through. Originally, yeah. Petey's voice sounded like. Oh, hey, George, come on, let's let's do this. We hey, George, buy a new car, you deserve it. <laughs> kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, it turned to Dane DeVito going, Hey, George, here we go. <laughs> George, George, don't do this. And then the end of the show, actually, I was thinking, if you know, Netflix, if you're listening, um, end of the show, didn't George, they eat, didn't they eat? yeah, you have to eat Pete, Petey at the end. Yeah. <laughs> And then Petey's like, it's okay, George, I'm trying to, trying went, to be... He went back to his yeah. high-pitched voice. Yeah, well, because he, he was scared, you know? George was about to eat him. George! Cook him up and marinate him. DeVito came out. <laughs> yeah. Cold. So, yeah. If, if there's a cartoon in the future, The Adventures of George and Petey, that started... Right here. Right here. Right in here. This trademark. Netflix, you know our number. Yeah. I think. <clears throat> Hit us up. Hit us up for that. A lot of sport on today, though. A lot of sport. Yeah, F1. Do you want to uh, go through F1? Well, we need to catch up on it. We don't really... We just mm. know that Hamilton won. We yeah, to from, a, from 10th, right? He started at 10th. It's getting very tense, and people should tune into that. People should definitely tune into that. Yeah. Three, I, three races to go, right, George? F1, I think, is probably the most exciting sport in the world. Yeah. The comment, the, the, <laughs> also, the way they... Um, the cover it. The, the coverage. coverage. The, the coverage amazing. is amazing. And the commentary is good, but... It's amazing. So you get so invested in like each driver. It's ridiculous. The storylines, the everything oh. about it. You know, track has has a lot to learn from uh, F1. They've done a great job. Yeah. I always think, because a lot of people say, I think this was probably on some stupid running Instagram page or Twitter page where they're like, hey, if running had its own version of Drive to Survive, like what would the storylines be? And I'm just like, I don't even know. It's just like, there's just not much excitement during the season. Like during it's, the it's lead hard. up to the season, it's not it's not the same as F one. It's not nearly as like follow. Like obviously you're gonna follow the Ingebrigtsens. You know, like obviously yeah. you look at the gold medal people, but even then, it's like what you have you, to get invested in like into people's story and then really start to see like development <clears throat> in it. I guess. Some, I mean, like something with our, following Jakob and Stewie yeah. would be amazing because yeah. you know they're gonna race a ton. Yeah. But a lot of other people, I don't even know if it'd be. That's the thing. Like true mention here that Jakob once again goes <coughs> like stuff. Over Boulder. Yeah, Jakob yeah, Ingebrigtsen is currently training in Flagstaff. In Flick. And we obviously have an ongoing debate of Flagstaff versus Boulder. And this might... Joe know, made a good comment this morning, though, that I can't refute. What was it? He just said, like, if you're traveling to get to altitude training, you're not probably not going to go at the height of Boulder. You'd probably want to go higher. Yeah. For Flag. Like, if you're going to, like, make that investment. I think that's training, hard to deny. It's just hard to deny that. Yeah. That's, that's, so, like, that's probably, like, the best valid. argument for it. Because if Boulder was higher, maybe potentially... It's not that high. Yeah, according yeah, to pretty much all the research that I've seen, Flagstaff is at the ideal uh, elevation for altitude training because Boulder is just a little bit too low. And even if you say you go to like Crested Butte, which is 9,000, that's probably too high for most people. Mm. Flag's really in that sweet spot if you are doing like a month training camp, I think. So they definitely have that going for them, but they don't have us. He runs in some weird places though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't, didn't Jenna see him? Uh, on the track or something recently? Well, I think the NAU track is one of the less weird places he trained. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, was he, doing, <laughs> yeah. was he doing like a weird session or anything, or was this look normal? I think he, she just saw him show up. Oh, okay, just showed up looking. Did he hot. did he have like bodyguards and like <laughs> was he like wearing like yeah, a nice crazy? Gucci he, sweater or something? Does he get lonely? I will, he I, has training partners, I guess. I don't but. think. I think his brothers are. They seem pretty close. But I, I wish brothers even there. Yeah. Like well, that. I'm just saying, like with loneliness, like he trains with yeah. them all the time. He has that companionship. I don't know about like friends and stuff. Maybe we should recruit him. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we can afford it. I'm sure we can afford it. I will. Uh, we'll talk to the. To I'm sure the his dad will let up. We'll, we'll make some calls. His dad will definitely let him off the leash and let Dathan train for sure. I think so. Yeah. 
Yeah, Ollie well, would have to just crush every single week. He <laughs> can be competitive, Ollie. No, no, no. I mean, he'd be he'd be a good training partner, but he would completely well, actually, destroy us. No, and see, the thing work. is, that's different about him compared to how perhaps you train. Is he's very like yeah. controlled and calculated. He's oh, I don't. I think that, yeah. I think most of his training is threshold related work, and it's you know they do all like the blood lactate stuff, and it's very controlled. It's it's like what more like what you would do at NAU with your double days where you have to make sure you're keeping stuff like in check so then yeah. you can get the volume in. I just train, I train passionate. Ollie trains with, <laughs> I train with angst. Ollie, <laughs> with angst Ollie and passion. trains and races on angst, self-hatred. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> really it. Yeah. You were telling me yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I think we were, we, Ollie and I were running together and he's, he's just, I don't even know if it was prompted. Ollie's just like, no, I think just yeah, it. just before every race last year, I just told myself how much I hated myself. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it really worked. After the race, I would just forget about it. <laughs> yeah, I got to that. I, I, I just like envision everything really bad happening to me and like all the bad stuff and then just pit it all together and then and put it into three, it. And, three and a half minutes of bliss. Yeah, three and a half minutes of look what I can do. I'm yeah. not that bad. I, I still love myself, I think. And yeah. it was very effective. And it worked. Well, I wonder wonderful work this year. Might yeah. be might be interesting. Maybe I should try something else that's mentally healthy. Yeah. Like uh, go into a race and be like, yeah, just going. enjoy it. Yeah, have fun with it. <laughs> just be happy. He's yeah. so much worse at running. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if Ollie's just running terrible this year. You'll you know, know that he's in a really good mental space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in a really healthy relationship with himself if he's running. We do have one of the ongoing jokes with Ollie is obviously women really. Women oh, related. we're still talking about we me. Have, Can we talk about Ollie has a lot of girl issues, but it's like if he has... If he's having issues with a girl, it's like he's gonna run really well. Well, I, yeah, that 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 happened a lot in college. It's just reliable that he's 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 gonna perform. If I think at the start of your race, right most now. Of, most of the time, I just go gets in my head. It's probably just like something just really minor. I think at the start of relationships, when you're in the honeymoon phase, you perform really well as well. But I think yeah, I think because that's also like a lot of excitement. That's yeah. a lot of stress. That's the watermelon Hormones. sugar, baby. Hormones are just that's yeah, the watermelon sugar. That's the, the watermelon. that's the that's the Harry Styles watermelon sugar, you know. Yeah. For assurance, Ollie is currently in another honeymoon. His what number honeymoon stage oh, of the year? Are we getting into this? <laughs> Third or fourth honeymoon stage. Why do stage? we have to get into this? <laughs> we had a It's great I, though. We, so we, we had an idea to do like girl talk with Ollie every week and we never did it. We had this idea of like episode two or three and it would have been so good if we'd been doing just it. Just embarrass me constantly the, about my personal life and my love life. Way yeah. too personal. But yeah. I guess we're literally talking about it right now. You so. are talking about it. You're just not mentioning names. Yeah, I think that's probably the good way to do it. I yeah, don't know. I, <laughs> I think don't that know. is the good way. That's the update on Ollie. That's update on Ollie, it's going good. Life. Thumbs going up. Good. stage. Uh, Thumbs up. Running well. Yeah, I Ollie's think in a good place right now. Ollie's I think. in a great place. I think you are. I think very healthy, so that's good. But I feel like we should do a bit of a general catch-up on how us dudes, the hosts of the show, are doing because uh, why not? You know, we got interesting stuff. You guys just had a big workout this morning. Mm. What well, was it? Medium. I, medium workout well yeah. um, i'd say so not everyone started the workout at the same time because i was still trying to get my watch to i'm on their side i'm on their side no. more concerned about a gps watch thing <sighs> than you would think ollie seems like it's a mental a thing it's, it's, it's a mental thing to start the workout everything's so, connected everything's ready to go for context, and then you took me out for context the boys were about to start their first rep of the workout this morning on the track it was a track workout and they're going to do a k and i think they're about to start all ready to go and ollie's like wait i haven't got my signal yet and they were like we don't care and just started and then okay. Ollie waited until did you wait until you got your yeah. signal and then you started like what 30 meters behind them or something yeah, yeah. And, and you know like that's just it's not the teamwork it's not what we're about see I don't, why about. do you need signals for a track well the thing out? is it was already synced and then Jordy said oh i can like change the settings or something on, on my watch and then he just didn't do it and he's like oh i don't know how to do it you know so you i have can... to put it back and then resync it you actually don't have to you know if you just press the button again it starts yeah, I know, but I don't want to start it without that connection. It's about mentally you, being there. It's ready. not even going to be right. It's about it's your like head. you putting your toe spaces in. It's like for me, it's like something that <laughs> I need. Head it's and like your a watch in alignment. You got your toe spaces in. You're doing your little exercises. <laughs> like for me, this is my exercise. This is my toe I spaces. My watch to I need my watch to be It needs to be connected. Yeah, that's it just mentally cool. gets me prepared for the workout because the rest of the workout, I mentally was like off. I'm not because kidding. you didn't start. Yeah, your watch it's a it's a thing. It's it's just like is that why you didn't jog any of the rest? I know. I actually cut the rest because I wanted to see the score in the cricket. <laughs> That's why I was what, cutting you, the rest. You just kept running back to your phone. Yeah, after. and I was just checking it. Yeah. That's fair. But uh, oh, we probably did like two less miles than everyone else this yeah, morning. So no, the, okay. The recovery <laughs> wasn't that long. It was 90 seconds. You know where you could get two miles. The in. workout was 
four sets of 1K, 600, 300. You guys, what, what paces were you hitting today? I think we started at 255 for the K. 600 was like 145? 141. 141. <laughs> And then the three hundred. Oh, wasn't synced on that one. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Well, I wasn't wearing my toe spaces. <laughs> um, the three hundred was. Were they quick? I only need toe spaces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, I think it, it descended really well. Joe was cla- happy, you know. When Clark is happy with a workout, you know it's a good workout. So that's true. He's got pretty high standards. For Very high standards, and we had um, we had a, some one. filming out there. We had Sweat Elite out there mm. filming for Joe. Just check so. that out. When it comes yeah. out yeah i don't know if he puts the videos out straight away or if he like i feel like he kind of banks them and then he probably brings them out later yeah. i don't know i, I don't, don't know. really know his no. process but because he because he i checked his youtube channel and i think in the last week he has like videos from of like julian wonders you oh, know really? so i'm like well he didn't just fail on julian yeah. wonders recently. he's probably just got some yeah, random so stuff i think he, he puts a bit in the bank but but he was filming joe today in the workout which was cool that was like a sneaky long workout i going into it i was like because i i did the same workout but a lot slower i did it with the girl with alicia monson hashtag girl power yeah seriously she is because they were doing really well, intimidating right? yeah she is crazy good especially <clears throat> in a workout like that but i thought it wasn't that big of a workout but for me it was like for over 45 minutes and it was like almost seven miles of running in total i don't know what hmm. it was for you guys but no i think we got 13 seven right? miles oh yeah. we probably got like five. Oh, we got five <laughs> George is so filthy about me going back to check my phone. Just because Australia won, you've got to let things go in the past. Yeah. Just because we won, and I was passionate about that final. Sorry, we love our countries, George. Yeah, it's just like, mate, just don't be a sore loser. It doesn't look good. But, yeah, so working out's going good. These boys have been putting in a really nice couple of months. Well, how long have you guys been back for? Not even a couple of months. Has it? Six weeks? I don't even yeah, know. Like October 1st. So. But these boys have been crushing, looking forwards. The plan is a uh, track race in December. December 4th, right, George? We're going to race in like three weeks. It's yeah. fucking weird to think it's about. It's that actually. close? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But that's a, a 5K BU, which will, I think the plan is one of those. I th- is it set up for collegiates to get those national times when they still go to so. that cross country we're not any, we're not trying to run the world standard or anything. Oh, I think well, George just get in a good. Yeah, but you guys do have your. Good idea for, you guys for do early. have your eyes on the your, the national records. Yeah, we do. Which are? I think it's eleven. <laughs> <laughs> At least that was legit. This is thirteen twenty six twenty seven for New Zealand. <laughs> Yeah, and then I think Australia is thirteen thirty six, which is David McNeil, and then how was it not you? Didn't you run that exact time in conference? Thirty seven. Yeah, yeah conference. it's thirty six. He was a second off. I I, yeah. I wonder if David McNeil won, ran that at nationals. He did. He did. I, I checked so. his time. It was, it was at nationals. It was That's Arkansas, pretty sweet. I think. So in a taped up pair of Nikes. Really? That's yeah. what he wore. It's on the wall. Yeah, yeah really nice. Sick. With it's really um, funny. Do we got do we got indoor national record bonuses in our contracts? We do. Yeah. Well, I mean, New York for me last year was. Nice, you know, that's how this guy came to be, didn't you, Gus? You came from New York, yeah. You came from a New York race, a little tubby, tubby boy. He looks um, like a baby hippo. I still can't believe that you bought him on training camp. That's so ridiculous. I know it's so impulsive, yeah. It made me feel like a man. We're gonna have to get <laughs> validated everything, validated me as a man. We're gonna have to sell him before this training camp, and then Ollie's just gonna get a new dog at training yes. camp. Yeah, so six weeks, <laughs> he's gonna be. If anyone wants Homeless. a bulldog for six weeks in January, hit us up. Big issue right now Free is we're going on training camp again. This year, we're going to Florida in January, six weeks, and we did not know what to do with Gus. No, because I think Joe's taking his dogs to his family. Um, Leah has Lewis to look after her she dogs. She has way too many dogs. And it's just like, what am I going to... I mean, what is so Ben's going to look after Bert then, I yeah. guess? And everyone else... So Ollie has to probably lock down a really serious relationship by then. <laughs> so then... That's what he's been working on. <laughs> working on right his now. girlfriend can look after the Gus. Well, otherwise, I don't know, man. We might have to take you to the shelter or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if Gus would survive at a humane society. Oh, <laughs> he would get picked up straight away. He would get picked up literally that How day. How much do you reckon they would... Would they still sell him for a lot of money? No, nah, they wouldn't. I mean, because I feel like those societies are all about just getting the dogs proper homes, right? They wouldn't probably charge. I'm sorry, you have to hear this, guys. <laughs> he's oh. very, very upset. Look how upset he is. Man, he's having or if someone's willing to drive him from Colorado to Florida, Ollie, well, I mean, Ollie will pay you good money. I'll, Seriously. I mean, Rovers are expensive, man. Yeah, what is it, like 3K? Yeah, well, for, for like six, six weeks, weeks like if you're like, uh, if I could get someone to look after him for maybe two weeks and then move it to a rover, I just wish I could... It's a big sigh from Gus. 
Gus's having, contribution. I wish there was a way, like, they need to make an airline where you can just put your dogs on that airline and then they fly with, so like, a separate airline. plane. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would take him to a training camp if he wasn't yeah. so fucking I don't fat. think he... Yeah, he's just... He's, like, 65 pounds <laughs> yeah. and he probably can't sit still under the plane. He probably can't even fit under the seat. So, I mean, like, he would be fine at training camp because he literally just, just hangs around. his own ticket. I don't know how anyone I don't think you can do that. planes because how would you, like, stop them from just peeing i would be so scared well, he didn't pee when he came from arizona to denver he was it's really true. good he was a good, boy. I, would, a good boy I would just be so scared like what do you do if well you i i would i would probably get him into a big duffel bag and then put like <laughs> no no like put the pee pads down because i still have a lot of them and then i just keep him in that and make sure he stays in that and if he pees Why don't you he pees just on bring it a nice duffel bag as a carry-on you can also buy him a nappy you could sort a nappy no one's gonna christian there yo actually what if you people have definitely smuggled dogs onto planes oh well you have to put it through the machine though if you know, oh, yeah. 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 he's not gonna he's not gonna like go unnoticed for the TSA they just, he goes through the machine he just gets electrocuted with like all these freaking you just I, hear don't him going, what, <laughs> I don't know what rays they're putting in and then the guy's like hey I think this guy has a, a bulldog in his bag well the thing is if I oh, pull him out check your bag. they check the bag for that little tag to say that you can have a dog on the plane you, you should just save that from the last time you flew oh yeah that. true I think it has a date though yeah but they, no one looks at that yeah that's probably the one thing they look at but yeah. well, you just you just forge I'm going to look at United, I think, in a couple of days though, to see if I can fly him. Because if I do fly him, I am taking him. Yeah. Because it's mean, six it, weeks. It so. makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, I don't know what happens with old Gussie boy. I mean, he's been six weeks destroying someone else's house. That True. Would be good. Well, I mean, no, destroying your shoes. I mean, he won't destroy anybody else's stuff. It's just your shoes, bro. He knows. Apart from the three pairs of AirPods of yours. Two pairs. Two pairs, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm on number three right now. Okay. Yeah. But that was my fault because we locked him in the room for bocce and... Yeah, we still play basement bocce, if anyone's wondering. And Gus <laughs> has to get locked in Ollie's room when we play because he goes psycho with the balls. Like, he, Gus somehow knows. He's able to identify the difference between toys that are for him and toys that are not for, for him. him. And if it's a toy that's not for him, he goes crazy. It's way more fun. Yeah, he just wants it. <laughs> and so the bocce ball is a good example of that. He, we, we couldn't play with him because he just... Goes absolutely wild. Goes bananas. Loves a good bicycle. Don't you, buddy? You go bananas. Just like your daddy. But, yeah, so race coming up for you boys in a few weeks. It'll be nice for you guys to get back on the track. Personally, uh, I've had a nice progression coming back from injury, but I won't be racing until, I would say, like February, March at the earliest. Just taking it easy. As I said, I think I'm in week three of working out. And, yeah, I got to work out with Alicia today, which is kind of my first time working out with anyone i guess i worked out with sage and parker a couple one time before but yeah i was pretty scared working out with alicia that <laughs> no that's no surprise <laughs> well one i was she's scared maniac. that i was just gonna get fucking dropped yeah she's a maniac by her but two i'm also running her case in well see the, the, i wasn't sure if today was meant to be like actually hard on the track or more like reserved but i guess it ended up being hard because her last k was what 301 or 302 Jeez. i feel like she always just runs hard on the yeah track. i don't think you can but stop it isn't that what carmella said was like there's like the the standard that alicia sets for the workouts that's the standard you hit for the well workout. so the the prescription was the prescribed k base was 315 we didn't hit any 315 today. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you guys are moving. But then the other thing that I get nervous about... <clears throat> that's just like her 5k pace, which yeah. is... That's very fast for a K ring to run 5k pace. Well, we didn't even get close. No, what, 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 what was the closest one we had? No, I mean, we got reasonably close, actually. We ran like 243 on the... You guys ran a 243? You didn't yeah. even say that. <clears throat> I was running oh. the flows, baby. Really? Yeah. Damn, you I wore the flows for the entire workout. You guys weren't mucking about. That's when I realized when, when him and Ben and Joe were in the Echoes, I was like, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. I'm fucking in trouble here. Yeah, for context, the Echoes are on carbon plate issue, and then the Flows are just like a regular flat type thing, which they're really good for... I like them for tempo. They spent so the whole workout bragging that if he led, he was going to go way too fast. No, that's not... Okay, that's not what I was saying. I was saying that he's just terrible. So, but he's so but fast. But, but the thing is... Ollie's just so fast but, but it's George, true. Again, it's true. again, you don't it's listen. True. Again, George, you don't look at me. Look at me. <laughs> you don't listen. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You don't listen yeah. because I said that I'm terrible at pacing, so I don't want to scrub your workout because you and Joe are very, very good at hitting the pace and being like Yaka Bingabritson would say... <laughs> 
controlled workout. As Jakob often says. I'm sure I'm, Jakob says <laughs> all the time. Jakob always tells me. Yeah, yeah, he he always says that to you know people that he talks to all the time. <laughs> Which so is, yeah. you, you, you guys are good at that stuff. I don't want to intrude and, and run too quick and then die. Because that's probably what would happen. I don't, I'm not good at pacing. So that was why I said that. It was nothing to do with me being fast. Because you looked great But it today. is a little bit to do with you being fast. Because well, I'd go out too you fast. Don't, you don't, yeah, you don't fuck it up by going slow. You fuck no, it up by I'm going too, too angst. Quick. You got too much I start to get in my feels there. and then all of a sudden just... It's just too easy. Yeah, I don't know. Do you feel pain when you run or just... Pain? What do you mean pain? Like, is it hard for you? Running? Yeah. I mean, it's less hard for me than other people. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder. Someone... Because... Yo, so ben, yo, ben got all his head wobbling. That, what that's happened? What I know. Yeah, no. Ben hit the three hundred, and I was like, "Oh damn, he's going pretty quick." Put, put all, got all his head wobbling. That's yeah. when you know. When, when I have working. the head wobble, that's when I'm like hurting. Yeah. What does your head wobble look like? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a looks like a wet noodle. Wait, is that what happens when all he's dying or running really quick? I don't know. Yeah. Which one was happening? I mean, it was only. I wasn't dying because I was like on him, but I, it was not easy. So that's just like Ben. More ben ran a really quick. Head wobble means yeah. more effort. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If I put the head wobbles in, that means that... Um, then it's not super easy. Yeah, it's not easy for Ollie Hall. Hall back. That's fair. But how do it's, we always, it's, like, it's always just a dude giveaway too. The, the, the thing that Which I'm really liking fun. right now too, and I commend George for this, is that we're doing some of the cool down barefoot in the grass. I really like that. We have been doing that. We should keep doing that. That's, that's I some, don't think we'll... Like, that's I mean, we, we probably got one more week left. Yeah. yeah. There's about to be a bunch of snow on the ground. It's well, when we go to Florida, surprising. we should keep it doing. Like, yeah, we have the infield, there'll probably be grass and stuff. Yeah, we love... In no Australia. idea what kind of training environment we're going to. Yeah, we, we have, have no, no idea. Clue. We have no idea what's going to happen. We just turn that our house has a pool. What if we just turn up and it's just freaking concrete everywhere? Which is probably where it's going to be where we are. It's just going to be like... <sighs> Payment. We're concrete gonna run on the jungle. side of highways. I'd, I'm just gonna just pretend just to tear my ACL. myself. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. But play. Go, I think growing up for us, Australia, New Zealand, obviously, there's a lot more grass in those countries because they don't have freaking as much snow, and we have actual grass tracks, which are amazing. So growing up, we ran barefoot a lot. Yeah, we did. Did you as well, George? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's like the best thing you can do. I think it's just great for your feet. Yeah. Yeah. I think obviously, if you your whole life, it doesn't you run take much shoes, either. And then you just went to barefoot, it'd be dangerous. But yeah, just a little bit. Feels just like good. a little, little, yeah. It just makes you, there's, I think if you're running barefoot, there's no way that you can't be running in your most like natural, good mm-hmm. form. State. Yeah. Kind of. I know. I also feel like it, particularly after wearing shoes, it just, your, your feet open up a lot. Not, like it just feels nice from your feet. And I guess that connection with the ground too, with your foot actually connecting to the ground is a nice feeling. The after best a workout. thing is a nice turf field and you finish like an eight mile run. And you have drills and strides and you do them. It sounds like a very specific scenario that just happened last week. <laughs> it happened last week. <laughs> it did happen last week. But, but also, we had it at Wisconsin that would be like twice uh, a week. Because we had indoor turf field. We did, yes. Yeah, so we used to do a lot so of we indoor would do that as well. turf stuff. Um, I was just going to ask you, Morgan, how's the transition in Dathan's training, the progression? Are you enjoying it or do you like it? Yeah, What's it's the... been great. It's a lot better now than it was when I first joined. And I yeah, you got, got thrown, thrown to the, the fire. Walls. You got thrown to the fire because it's like two weeks after the Olympics or some shit. It was a month before the Olympics and... You just came in when Ollie and Joe were in they were ripping. ridiculous shape. And also I had issues of my own. I hadn't been able to train consistently for a long time. I was still dealing with a lot of ankle pain. And I was, I was mentally at the point where I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to... I'm not even going to bother like stressing a ton about... Ooh, like this is too much for me i need to ease into it i'm just gonna jump in and like commit myself to the to the program to the training because that was mentally a lot easier for me to do at the time and i don't even know like dathan obviously at certain points is pretty stubborn like with his training like he's very confident that what that he's training is the training that you need to do even mm-hmm. if sometimes it's a little bit difficult for you he's confident that that's what you should be doing so i was like i'm, I'm i was so down to do it but it meant i was just what was really different is I was on the track ripping stuff in spikes in a way that I hadn't done all season because yeah. I probably would have been doing a bit of that if I hadn't had the injury. But what, because, about, what about when you were in the, the clouds status? You were in like a 600 and like 120 oh, biggest, something. Biggest mistake ever. We had <laughs> we had the <laughs> biggest <laughs> speed workout of It was the a year. ridiculous workout. <laughs> ridiculous like, workout. Crazy workout. Like super quick 600s. Was it a 600? It was 600 breakdowns. 600, 400, 300, 200? Is something it, like yeah, that. Six four three two. Six, something four, three, two. something like that. And I didn't bring any flats. I just brought like my warm up shoes and my spikes. And I turn up and David's like, "Yeah, I, it's a terrible idea like to do this whole workout in your spikes because it's too long." And so I had to do the first set in my slow trainers. And I didn't like. I was wearing like, 
Well, I guess the old Stratus were kind of hard. They weren't soft. So they were okay for it. But, so still, but they were heavy, man. But still, like, that was starting... It was like 129, 120. Yeah, that was yeah. the first It was rep really quick. Is 600, yeah. Because we started 60 that. second, 400 pace, and then getting quicker from there. So from that point on, I was fucked. And then the other thing is by then, I already had a ton of pelvis pain. I mm. already had a stress reaction in my yeah, pelvis. you were already injured. That so. I was running on. So I was just like limping and not a good idea would not recommend so now that i've had that experience and uh you're like I, you're doing like the opposite now like a really exactly, slow control exactly situation. um it's kind of that time of the just year where you can things. take time off and you can build back up and do things the right way which we just didn't have time to do this is what i've said the whole thing about like my injuries and the olympics and all that i i was pretty aware that there was a right way to do them and that i wasn't doing stuff the right way but at some point you just got to say like, well, do I want to make the Olympics or not? And I guess I made the decision and this was almost subconscious, but yeah, I made the decision. I want to risk it to make the Olympics, but yeah, it really fucked me. So now I'm able to have the time to do stuff slowly and we're doing it real slowly. Like even to the point where it's obviously the big goal for next year for all of us is world champs and comp games. But for me personally, I wouldn't for those and looking at qualifying for those, it's still like, well, I'll take care of my injuries first and then we'll see where I'm at, like when the, when the time is right. So we're not even like putting that as a high priority than being healthy. So yeah, that makes me feel very good inside. It's a good decision. It's smart <laughs> it makes decision. my body feel good. Yeah. So I am Your absolutely loving that great. with Dathan pelvis feeling good. Uh, so yeah, I'm loving training with Dathan. I think Dathan as a pro coach, there's not really anyone else like that I would want, particularly coming back from injury and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, he so knows it so well, he knows it very well. So I'm very happy with that. Should we talk to everyone about the new game that we're craving right now, Farkle? <laughs> because I tell you what, right now, I've been playing Farkle with these boys and I I, that was, my yeah, intelligence that was is getting questioned. I, I don't <laughs> so, know. So just, I it's think, just counting numbers and I'm just like already struggling. So in the back of our, so behind me in the shot, like the Farkle game is back there and it's i think menacing looking i, I was me. wondering if i always started that sentence so i think we should talk about and then didn't know what to say next and then he just looks over no, 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 and no. sees the fuck is like fuck that's like <laughs> that's like 75 percent of that's uh, 75 percent correct yeah <laughs> that's kind of how it looked like from my angle but yeah if you haven't played farkle shout out to Corey mcgee's mom shauna she taught me how to play shauna did yeah nice. in when i was out there at, at her place and farkle is a very fun game that we've been playing do you reckon we're just competitive in every game we play? Like, do, do you feel that competitive? I'm pretty competitive. Because I think George, <laughs> George particularly always brings his A game when we're playing any type of game. He's always... always, always I love games. Yeah. yeah. You're I'll always bringing A game. Day. <laughs> you, like, you intimidate the fuck out of me in every game. And he play. always... Na I mean, George is naturally really good at like every game yeah. as well. So that helps. Like, but we'll just always be playing bocce and then like the three, third game in, George is like just incredibly good at getting close to that white ball i i don't know if i would say you're competitive at this like you are competitive but if you're texting a girl then the game doesn't matter at all <laughs> why are you bringing it back to no well it's just true is that not <sighs> no comment no comment yeah like, it probably we, is true because i get distracted we're gonna we, we we hide your phone when we play games sometimes I, no you know? that's the same with watching any like tv show as well like like we're watching ted lasso i'm on my phone and that's a big no-no in our household it happens uh you know what my mom said to me yesterday talking about ted lasso She's like, oh, you guys should do your own version of the Diamond Dogs at your house. Where you just <laughs> That's actually a good idea. We basically are. We're, yeah. Bali. She's like, where you Oh, talk is this about... for me? What about you guys? You guys have... Well, we're all the Diamond Dogs. Well, but, we'll you got, but you guys have problems. You just don't want to talk to them about me because you think that I'm below that. <laughs> That's not true. Maybe. That's not true. I don't have any good advice. That's it's like, the, that's just, the opposite of our attitude to Movimba. <coughs> Movimba is all about talking about We're just, all, yeah. George and I are just better at <coughs> hiding our emotions. Yeah, I'm not very good at hiding my <laughs> emotions. Not, we're not supporting that. We're not supporting I'm not saying emotions. it's a good thing. <laughs> means, all means I'm saying health. is that if something is bothering Ollie, you can tell. <laughs> so you can, you can say that you two are very stoic and I am no. not very Ollie stoic. walks out in the morning and you know. <laughs> you know. You know something's going on. Yeah. Hey, at least that you Dressing know. Dressing down, double pajama shorts. Headphones. headphones. I haven't seen the headphones lately. Yeah. Well, I, the reason why thing. I don't That's bring them out anymore is because, I don't bring them out anymore because you guys make fun of me so much. I just can't concentrate yeah, on so funny. enjoying my music and making my coffee. Yeah, but you can't even hear us making fun of you because they got amazing noise. I can see you though pointing so and laughing. I can see that. <laughs> I can see you guys pointing and laughing in the corner. You guys don't think I see that. I can definitely see it. Jordy right. takes his whole right. the whole chopping board over with one slice of toast to sit on the couch. Yeah, classic. Jewelry. Biggest ch chopping board ever. He has one piece of toast in it. I might want to use that chopping board, George. I might want to use it, but it's fine. 
You can use yeah. as your oversized plate. Yeah, so that's kind of uh, what's going on in our lives. I'm not done with you. I, 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 Roast I'm, me. Do yeah. It. Do, it. do it. Anytime I get near you in the morning, it's like I'm about to wake a leopard. Yeah, don't come near me in the morning. Yeah, you're, you're very, very like, even if I'm like, if I accidentally like touch your machine, I can see your fist start clenching. It's like, okay, I better, <laughs> better stop off. I don't know what it is in the mornings. Uh, you're I, just not, you just like, I, I avoid I, you in the mornings. I have no patience in the morning, yeah. most mornings. And like the thing is, most of the time I've slept really well and I, <laughs> and I feel good, but I still, I just have no patience. Yeah, you just see us and you go, why the, why the fuck are you there? Oh, are you making a coffee? It's not morning? good for me because I want to talk to people in the mornings and these two don't want to talk to anyone. No, so no, I you've never like, mentioned that before. Yeah, why don't you just talk why to us? Why don't you just talk to us? Well, because you don't hear me because you both have noise cancelling hey, I don't wear the head. headphones anymore. I'll so. just say something and then the room will just be silent. I, but, oh, sweet. You no, know what? Good, knowing good that good information talk, now, because you've opened up, you've opened that little bottle Finally. of yours, George. I can actually like now take years. that information, be a good friend and not wear <laughs> AirPods in the morning and have a conversation with you. Because now that I know that, <laughs> you've actually opened up to me a little bit. A little bit of the, <laughs> the onion. The onion starting Another to... Another layer pill. On. Exactly. Like now, I, to know now I know and I won't wear those AirPods. I'll come in and say, George, how'd you sleep? All right. Okay. See, this do you is have my a good. Thing. Do you have a good balance. This movement? is my. This is my thing. You don't want to have that conversation. Okay. Do about... you guys? Do you guys like this or not like this? When people ask you how did you sleep last night, because on Team Boss, every morning, like every single person would say, "Oh, how did you sleep last night?" And I think I don't mind the question in isolated instances, but every morning, getting it, like I was just like, fuck. I, I can't do this right now. I, like, I, especially I could, if I slept bad. I, I could, yeah, not I could every, find it. Not like every <laughs> single morning. Because I always, then yeah. they like, do you really care? Or are you just asking this because you ask this? I, I think yeah. I would find it very annoying. But then, for example, if we were out late at a concert or something, and then the next, the day after no, that, then you know you slept bad. So there's no, no, no point asking. Listen, that. let me finish my. If Ollie's, if Ollie's had his girl over, let me finish have, my hey, statement. Ollie, how'd you sleep last Let night? me finish my statement <laughs> Zach can just before you guys rudely <laughs> interrupted. <laughs> Zach lives under Ollie, so he knows exactly how. You know what? You guys can <laughs> shove a cork in it. Exactly how many hours? Shove a cork in it. Sleep. Let me finish. I said the night after that. You, I would ask, oh, did you sleep? Like, how'd you sleep? Because I would predict that you guys got way better sleep than the night of the concert. Well, then you already know. No, I, I, I might not know. Maybe you said, oh, I slept shit, and then I would know to avoid you. Well, then I don't want to tell you. Cause I've well, if you don't tell me, then I know you slept shit, and I just avoid you. See, see how that question works, sleep, George? I always sleep well. Oh, he, he always sleeps well, George does actually does, though, because he <laughs> has the ability to sleep in. That's because he, he tapes to. his mouth together. He does do. tape his mouth shut when he sleeps. Because apparently that's shut. like the, the pure way to sleep. And if you don't sleep like that, I've <laughs> never said that in my whole life. Oh, you've definitely thought it. Um, <laughs> George comes out in the morning with his mouth taped up and just feels so much better than everyone. He just looks at, he just looks at everyone. He's like, he's like glowing. He's yeah, like, oh, I, I am even, such a fast superior even, human. I didn't even use my mouth to breathe yeah. last night. How'd you sleep? How'd you sleep? <laughs> I actually slept properly. I slept the traditional way that we should have been sleeping for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. You slept with your mouth open like an absolute idiot. <laughs> That's how George. I got so many George does it. last night. Yeah, that's how George with my does nasal, it. With my nasal breathing. The funniest thing we should so do. So much less dehydrated. We should put super glue somehow on I'm some tape and see if he like can never take it off. That'd be funny. Then I breathe. Mm-hmm. The, no, they, I would support the. Then I breathe through my nose forever. Then so he'd be a super oh, Then we then we super George overcorrecting super it. George. But moral of that story, I think, is. We have to talk to each other in the mornings, I guess. <laughs> no, well, that's what George is saying. And I, I, think, I I'm fine with that, but I know you, I think you're very, me, very touchy in the morning. Okay. I think the thing with me is that as soon as you get over the initial hump, I think I'm fine. No, I think it's like, I noticed it's, it's a very, very small period between when you make a coffee and you sit down. You stare well, it's at normally the wall. fine because Morgan's up normally before 20, us. 30 minutes yeah. before us. But you'll stare, yeah. you'll stare at the wall with your headphones in or you'll be reading a book. <laughs> you do stare at the wall. I have my eyes closed. If I'm, Sometimes med- if I'm meditating, open. I have my eyes closed. Sometimes they're open. <laughs> because if they walk in and I just see this, he's just like, all of a sudden I walk in and Morgan's like, well, I try if I, so if I think someone's going to come out in the morning, I, I meditate in my room. I didn't mm. try But if I think no one's going to come out, then I meditate in the living room. But then I could just ruin it and I could come out and George is like, how'd you sleep Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to meditate. All of a sudden there's a like projectile coffee mug going Morgan, in George's head. Morgan, Morgan, that'd Morgan, be, you sleep well? That'd be a good test of my meditating though. You know, it's all part of the, it's all yeah. part of the process. But, um, I mean, I mean like the one thing that you're reading a book and then after that I period, do read as well, yeah, yeah, after that period, then I think you're good. But like during that period, I know not to disturb you. Because I've been living with you for such a long time. I know. Yeah. Well, you've been waking up and watching sport, though, which has been fun. That's been that's nice. Also, nice. That's also a great way to have a We've had a lot of sports. We've been lucky with that. Great way to have a shared morning experience with some live sports. Nothing quite like that. But... <laughs> we haven't even... We were going to talk about regionals. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. And nationals. And well, nationals and this out. is coming out the day before in Stubble A's. Is is A's on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Saturday of next week in Stubble A's. Regionals just happened like two days ago because we're filming this on a Sunday. I did we learn anything from regionals? I don't know, man. Like I'm re I'm realizing how hard it is to be a fan of this sport because <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I'm so involved, but at the, the same time the coverage has been so I, bad. The, the yeah, coverage for nothing. regionals was piss weak. Nothing. We it tried to watch live regionals. Race. There was just nothing on. Midwest it was, was live work. on like Facebook or something. Like, come on, every guys. other regional was. It was. I'm trying. I mean, like, you were trying to find. Uh, I couldn't even look at. You were trying results. to find your region's results, and it took like how long? Hours after the race yeah. had finished. It was ridiculous. So, I know you did scrape through. They, they actually, scraped through. Actually, actually the beat. men got beat by BYU at regional. Yeah, BYU home course. Do you do you cute. see that as a real beat or not really? I don't know. I don't know BYU's like top team anymore, so I don't know if they rested anyone. But NAU only but rested seem... one, right? Yep. Who they rest? Have... Just Kush 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 George Kush George. Our South African new friend. George. South African new, new NAU George. Our South African the friend George. from the Big Ten. Um, yeah. Well, that went from New Zealand from South Africa. To New <laughs> <Yeah>. Zealand. That <laughs> went from South Africa to New Zealand. I think oh, I was just New so Zealand the whole time. I'm just so used to using the the New Zealand uh, accent. Team. Team. I think that was BYU's best team. I would expect that. Um. And did they did they win by much? I didn't actually look. Uh, I think it was I, 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 if it's a couple of points, then it doesn't really matter. I wonder if that'll shake up the uh, the, rankings. the rankings because I have the rankings here, but obviously there's one more rankings to come out before actual nationals. BYU, I mean, they were back at eighth, so they're definitely they gonna had, move up a time. They were having kind of a shitty year. Yeah, yeah they didn't look too from good. Mance, How they do a conference? Mans is still unbeaten. Really. Um, I think they won conference. They won conference? conference. is pretty shit. Okay. Are they even in a conference? What is it? I don't, I don't know. Mormon, like the Mormon conference Mormon or something? Conference. <laughs> the Mormon conference? It's not on Sundays. That's all I know. <laughs> is Sunday the Mormon day off? I guess, yeah. It is. Yeah. Don't, is it true that none of them run on Sundays? I'm pretty sure, yeah. If you're Mormon, I, I imagine you don't run on Sundays. Yeah, but I think I still Dude, that's just a, them all. That's a runs. nice excuse well, to just get to take thing. a day off. Yeah, but then you gotta, well, then you gotta like load up that mileage in six days, man. That's yeah. gonna, that's gonna that's fuck you, up the that's body. That's how you get fit, bro. But it must fuck up the body, that much load in six I days. I don't five but, days. But, yeah, no, but you're very, very unique. Or you George. could take the other side of it and say, that's how you keep your body healthy because you get a full yeah. day of rest. Yeah, yeah between, but I, between in that Saturday day of rest, long run, I wouldn't take Monday that morning. I guess it's just me because I wouldn't take that day of rest very well. I would do something stupid. Enough. Ollie doesn't know what rest is. Uh, Guy's never rested in his life. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, no, nah, video games is resting, isn't it? That counts, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just not yeah. if you're just super stressed and your heart rate's up the whole time. I mean, my heart rate's always going to be high, George. Your cortisol is George, just through the um, roof. Ollie does have a surprisingly high resting heart rate. Seventy. 70 for like a very elite athlete but it doesn't go much higher when it gets a threshold it's like pretty normal isn't it, it just just goes up 100 bees wait is your threshold 170 no way yeah no. well isn't that i don't know i don't i don't, I don't, I don't like that's I don't a, that's a that's a george thing that's that's like, like no bro you know <laughs> i'll let george stress about yeah, that george stress about just, the cadence just runs by feel right i run off feel george i run off the natural way no statistic Dude, how good was so he? You should, everyone should easy run with Ollie one time and you will just not believe that he's an elite runner. <laughs> Why is that? Because I breathe a lot. Ollie breathes so breathing. hard. No matter what. Yeah. Maybe I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> it, it, it does make me feel better. That's good. <laughs> how good was yesterday's double when... Uh, so the boys got their second vaccine shot. Well, their first the, one was J and J, like the one that doesn't even count. And then they got their booster shot. The two, one that doesn't even count. Two days Try ago. Try telling that to the government. Yeah, it's like, I don't think the Australian government was accepting. J &J, no, they do accept it. Oh, they, they do. They do they accept did. it. Yeah. New Zealand didn't. Didn't. didn't? No. New Zealand well, does they now. Didn't, they didn't have to buy a mini. Yeah. New Zealand does now. I think they accept all those major ones now. That makes sense, but. Uh, wait, did you hear? Did um, are any countries accepting the, uh, the horse horseworms? Oh. <laughs> the horse D I don't know. We can talk to we can talk to Aaron about just, that just one. Just Green Bay. Just, yeah. just Green Bay. Just the Green Bay. The Green just Bay Packers are accepting. And whatever, Joe Rogan. Whatever he's whatever from Green Austin. Bay County that is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you I mean, if you say you're immunized, it sounds very very comforting, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I trust. I, I'm, I trust I'm immunized. It. That sounds comforting. I trust. I just it. don't know it's a horse to warm up, but yeah. So this is this for people in Australia and around the world. This was a massive story. I love that we, we were like, let's talk about it. <laughs> now we're talking about this, but this is a massive story recently, uh, about a week ago, Aaron Rodgers, who's an amazing quarterback for Green Bay Packers. Let's go, right. go Packers. He's all right. Go Pack Go. He tested positive for COVID. And I mean, that happens to everyone. Like that's fine. Even if you're vaccinated or not. Yeah, it happens. It but happen. then it came out afterwards 
that he had he didn't ever get vaccinated but instead opted to become what he called immunized by using the joe rogan horse dewormer medication what's it called ivermectin yeah so he, he went shot. that I sh- I shouldn't even see that. that's, a, that's, the one, that's <laughs> the one thing like if he was anti-vax you would be like okay he's anti-vax but for him to be like oh i'm gonna use this other thing he's, from, anti-vax, he's just pro ivermectin yeah he's just like <laughs> completely gone the other way like what's the logic there what is the logic what is the logic there, there? i don't we, know we need to get him on this show and ask him because oh, I'm, I'm sure we can get him on the show he's gonna have no sponsors left so he'll probably be willing he's i mean all, i somewhere. mean he, i mean he can't even get health insurance now what do you mean for free because he didn't he wasn't he sponsored by all all <laughs> i think mean, you took that, <laughs> I don't to know like that's how that totally works. <laughs> you think you think he's his sponsor deal was just oh we'll give you free health insurance i mean yeah i thought he'd just get free health insurance i mean he probably would actually that's yeah true. and now he has to pay but, for it but i don't think he that was uh what is what company is that like a good neighbor state farm state farm i don't know if that's health insurance no he had a different yeah, like, health care yeah. oh, sponsor okay. i thought it was all state i haven't heard no no it's not all state oh, they're, no they're like car and house insurance yeah i think i think he's has he lost one. his state farm that's a good question Who knows? i hope so I don't anyway know. he's back today playing seahawks yeah so, so he's still got Rogers. that long hair yeah it looks great it's i think disgusting i think it looks so good in a helmet, like in a helmet, helmet it looks, looks great. like he just got an yeah. olive oil and just poured it through his hair and combed it that's what my hair looks like most of these days i put coconut oil in my hair these days to try and repair it so it gets pretty oily but so we would how did we start talking about that I don't even know. Oh, we're talking about you boys. Getting, getting in the booster. So, oh. so you guys got your booster shot two days ago. And then yesterday, Ollie felt completely fine because Ollie never feels anything. And then uh, we got Harvey. We got Harvey. Harvey, Harvey just rocked up to our house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Return to podcast now. So you guys got you know, <laughs> two days ago. That was a great transition. Then we ran yesterday and Ollie felt completely fine because... Nothing yet has taken him down. <laughs> New spot. Nothing has taken me down except for anything that's um, mental. Yeah, and then George, Mentally, I'm weak George as... was feeling a little bit iffy, and so he didn't run in the morning. He slept he, in. He came with us under the double, and then people kept asking him how far he was going to run. No, Camella. Camella was asking him, and that's the one thing you don't ask George. You do not ask him how far are you going to run. He George is like... He likes to li- go he likes off... loosey-goosey. Yeah. <laughs> go off field. He thinks he's very much like, oh, I'm going to be very loose and go with the flow, but even just, that yeah. turn there... Her asking that question made him tenser than <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen. But she didn't ask how far I was running. She asked how far I had. Yeah. And then you said, what'd you say? You said, shut the fuck up. Come <laughs> <laughs> Never ask me that question again. He just completely just shut down. Yeah. I can't remember. I didn't know. He didn't you know. Didn't, you didn't know. The only thing I knew that you had a clenched fist. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, you know, it's going to be a great time to bring up my uh, cartoon review. I thought that was going to be a great time just to bring that up. It was a great run. It looks like Gus is... Uh, See you guys. Down for the pod. Gus is taking an exit. He is heavy breathing. What is wrong with Sounds Gus? Like <laughs> he is freaking out. <laughs> did he smell a girl or something? Oh, he did. Oh, wait, they got their dog here. Oh, they, they got, got their, their dog. dog. I bet yeah. you they got their dog. Because this dog, so oh, Harvey's dog. Even, no, it's not her dog. It's, oh, it's, it's not? probably not here. I was going to say Harvey's dog or Harvey's brother's dog? Who's dog? Girlfriend's dog. Girlfriend's, dog. Girlfriend's, Girlfriend's brother's dog. dog. Whatever. Yeah, the dog did. that Harvey came with when he came to stay with us, Gus tried to hump that dog a lot. They had a lot of... They had a connection. Oh, we were talking some shit the last few sex. minutes. Yeah. We got really distracted. So going back to... That's Harvey's fault though. NCAA. What, what did the Wisconsin men get their asses kicked? Is that yeah, they yeah. did by Notre Dame. But I mean... Notre Dame's good. Just freaking regional. Who cares about what that? What did like income? I didn't even see the individual results. I mean, they were all like in the in the twenties, in the teens. Sorry, they were probably They're just like chilling. Top twenty. I yeah. I don't think they had to do anything too crazy to qualify out of the Great Lakes region. <clears throat> uh, but shout out to Bob Liking. He's my prediction for to win uh, nationals. I, I'm Hot excited. Head. I'm excited for him. I think he's he's going to run really well there. And uh, I mean, the, the Wisconsin team in particular looks really good. So. He's going to come out as a as a true, well, I guess, a redshirt freshman and just fuck shit up. Yeah, which I fucking I'm excited so. to see. And I'm I liking Bob. Yeah, <laughs> liking Bob. Hey, <laughs> let's go. I'm liking uh, Bob. But Owen Hacker as well as our yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Owen Hacker, our friend who's been in college for about 47 years, um, like he is also running. I'm hoping he can get. <laughs> A nice high place for him to finish off his long cross-country <laughs> career long and uh and fruitful yeah the boys i mean jackson sharp australian boy in there 
Yeah, we got the Knicks. We, we got a good team. We it's we I think we mentioned this before where we just want the team to perform at nationals because we since have, yeah. since we've been there, it's been nationals. There's been good teams, but we've never performed the way that we want to perform at nationals. So <laughs> that's the hope for us. And if they do that, you know, I really do think they can be a top five team at the very least because na- nationals cross is like that where if you actually just run your best like every single runner runs their best then you'll do amazing because mm. most teams run like shit mm. is kind of the reality it is the reality um so george and are you can they do something similar to what the chicago bulls have done three wins <coughs> lost three Damn. wins wait would this be number three this would be no, number this other, no this would only be two two okay oh it's only be two in a row hmm. yeah I it was, that makes sense so oh, this shit. so this would be this five, be five so this is to keep that bulls kind of mentality keep, alive is you can get that mm-hmm. win and, and then, then the next get, one is the last the next dance. one is the last dance yeah yeah how are you feeling about I, it I'm not super confident yeah that's a little scary it's like a looking bit, at that roster they just have like such a good three and then those three guys should be could be like top five could be nico yeah. apparently looked amazing nico this is nico abdi Hamid. and drew bosley yeah bosley's running on angst which i love <laughs> he's just like ollie <laughs> yeah it, i'm he, a big i'm a big he, bosley he, fan ollie loves drew bosley and he also ollie <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay so drew bosley has an old girlfriend uh they're now broken up but hannah use her name but, hannah hannah i didn't know her name but uh, i was very invested in that relationship yeah ollie they, they, like, they were, they were two really hot Instagram. people that were like had an Instagram relationship and I was like really invested in it. Oh, we were super invested in the relationship for there's just like no reason. Just really. no reason, honestly. I just saw it, I was like, damn, that's tied. And then, and then yeah, the, just the, like and then Andrew runs on relationship angst. So he's gonna be feeling pretty good right now. Either that or he breaks down like the last eight K. Okay. The last <laughs> 8K. He the last 8K of the pink So he race. does great for 2K. The, yeah, last 2K does well, but the, the, wait, the first no, 8K. No, you, you just said that changed backwards. your mind. Oh, wait, no, last 8K. So he, yeah, so 2K does well, and then the last 8K. He breaks down. He breaks down. Yeah. So he'd have to run a really good first 2K to be able to break down the last 8K and still have a and decent still have run. a decent day. <laughs> what, 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 what case blitz should he be able to run? About 230s probably. Yeah, the I'd first two. And then the, the real issue is that we're relying on big 10, ex, big 10 athlete drivers. Okay, Kush, Kush is going to deliver. Good, man. I mean, when he, deliver. I, Kush well, risked the regionals. I will say, like, I don't know how what his best place at NCAAs is because he is like a miler. Yeah, he but is. he won Big Ten yeah. cross. He's got. I think he's running some good um, three Ks. He's. I think he. I think he'll be good. I mean, he's training. He's, he's he training at Flag. He's training with NAU. <clears throat> he's got you know the team behind him. I can imagine that's momentum. And then we need something. Yeah. Quick, see. Who, who, the, okay, here's my question. Sorry to interrupt you. Go. No, it was all I had. Shoot, bro, shoot. Who do you think is the biggest threat at this point? Because that's kind of interesting. Because Colorado were ranked too, but I don't think they look. I don't think they're very really. good. Nah. They look good, but they don't look. They don't look threatening. threatening. They don't look threatening at regionals. I mean, in Colorado is a, if Colorado do win, it's the classic thing where you're like, oh, Colorado, they just find a way to come through at nationals. Like that is a kind of a race. Colorado thing to do. Yeah. I just think they're a solid top five team. I just don't think they have the like yeah. the expected to put enough people in the top twenty. So who do you think is their biggest threat then to NAU? BYU probably yeah, now. After and that. then like. I don't know, some of those Midwest teams. What about, is like, that Oklahoma State? Yeah, Oklahoma State look good. They're Even ranked like number three. Notre Dame. Iowa if State. Can, if well, Nagus, Nagus hasn't really shown Nagus much. Been, yeah, but he hasn't like shown like, he I thought there, like, he would be much more He was the like, fifth man last year and he came like 26. Yeah, I thought he'd be much more yeah. bigger this year. Just so just Notre Dame was the team a great season in that there. because of how well they did last season, yeah. they were probably preseason ranked two or something, I, I imagine. They were even ranked number one. Were they? They returned six All-Americans. Wow, and that is blows returned, my like, mind. That is blow my mind too. Yeah, how do you even have six, six Americans, Americans and not win? <laughs> yeah, they wait. Did they? Have, I'm pretty sure they had six. Yeah, all Americans and they lost. How many? You had six as well, and no, then you had six. Had, we had six in Wisconsin. We only had four last year. Oh. So yeah, I mean, based off that, because I don't think they were super talked about before nationals last year. And last that. year either. So. I don't know what they were ranked. So they could come through at nationals. It's well. gonna. I think it's gonna be a very entertaining um, race. Hey, hopefully there's a fucking stream of it because yeah. based on what we've right. gotten so it's far this year, useless. absolutely like, useless. Which how, be like staring at some live results that aren't updating. That's that's gonna, that'll be, be super. Tight. That's gonna be so fun. Love this sport. What about win wise? You think Mance is gonna be pretty pretty hard to beat? He's my still pick. looks like a good pick. I, I don't know how you like vote against that guy. I, I, I I'm a Hicks fan. Charles Hicks still. Yeah. Dude, he seems like a cool guy, but I just think that like if I don't know if Mans if Mans 
goes and that someone's able to stay with him, I think people can outkick Mance. I mean, Mance's got a great kick, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, he, Mance can it, just run like 3.30. Yeah, he's got, wild. He's got speed on him. Mance is deceptively fast. It, you know, he really he's got 1,500 like that. But Hicks, I mean, the way Hicks pulled away from T, I thought was pretty... I think I, I think Kupatia will come through with a pretty big run. I don't know. I think he he'll be really yeah. good at nationals. I just <coughs> it's his last running in college. Oh yeah, we should also say we did in an earlier podcast say that we were going to be down there for the race and yeah. we're not going anymore. And change plan. Yeah, I don't think we can talk about <laughs> why not yet. But uh, yeah, the team was going to go down and now we're not going down, so we're going to be watching it here from Boulder. Maybe we'll do some like live watching party or something. That'd be fun. You could commentate we could just on like it. sit up there in the corner. That'd be kind of funny. That'd we could cool. just commentate on it. Yeah, let's like do that. the New Zealand guys did. I for, think Photoshop does all that. Funny nicknames. Yeah, let's give everyone nicknames. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we need to hype that up so that we actually get some people watching it. But that would be fun to do. But yeah, yeah I think Matt's for the win because he looks he, really good. What did he run on this course already over eight k, like twenty two minutes or something ridiculous? It was under oh, twenty three. Yeah. yeah, it was under twenty three. He ran twenty two fifty. He ran so quick. Tits. Tets indeed, dude. I just don't like. <laughs> oh man, I the one thing that would be interesting is if it it would never align. But just having pros running, like if you could just have pros run into a random race, yeah. Like like I don't track, know. If I, I would never. I would. Right I would <laughs> never want to do that. I just. I just be interesting to see like how different it is because like I feel like pros aren't really training. Like it's that, just. Right? It's just, like, just don't have the drive. No. Once, yeah. Like, the, yeah, that's the thing. Like, the, dr- the driving drive. in cross country is pretty. The driving. <laughs> <laughs> driving. No, the drive. That's the drive, isn't that? Mm, you definitely said driving. I said the drive in cross country. <laughs> oh, true. It's a good save, boy. <laughs> good save. You guys just instantly that's, think that I'm gonna that's like your fuck word. up something. Can I just please? We'll have to check the tapes on that one. Yeah, you can just just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Live replay. Live replay, guys. Video video umpire on that one. But. Like, that's the thing. You're not a part of a team. Well, I mean, you've got the pro teams, but a team that's actually going <laughs> to yeah. do something, I guess. I mean, we've all been part of it. You just know that, honestly, even to this point, like, there's nothing that really compares to being part of an NCAA cross-country team and going mm. through the whole process of, like, coming back after the summer. Maybe you trained together over the summer, or at least you come back at the end of the summer and then you work into stuff through the fall and you go on all these amazing race trips together and you have so much fun. Even, like, I don't think anything in this sport as it stands at the moment will ever compare to that experience no like as a pro there's just nothing that really is the same i mean mm, representing your country but it's a different feel but it's still something that like you yeah you have but to, it's not nearly as special because you have you're saying it's not nearly as special to represent your country well i'm saying it's not really nearly as special in terms of like you haven't worked together with the same people for literally like yeah, years that's, that's, that's true at the very least months but for us like years yeah by the end you don't and you don't live with them like obviously representing your country that's what you dream of as a kid mm. and so yeah in, in in some ways nothing's ever going to compare to that but you're saying like the development you have with just, your team yeah yeah the bond that you have yeah. with your teammates yeah you know who would know a lot about this who and uh and you george beamish do you agree <laughs> with that statement i also didn't go to the olympics so i can't compare no no i said agree with the statement is in like yeah, the bonds so yeah the same, like saying. you, you guys, literally, that's your like bumper sticker. Hey, hopefully, at one point on the OAC, we can have a similar bond. Yeah, we don't have it now, do we? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's, I, I mean, don't know how we do. What do we do? We need to start showering together or something. I mean, I would start sleeping naked together. You think that's that's gonna that's step one? That that's step <laughs> one. I think, and then after that, we'll start using each other's toothpaste and. Uh, Me and Morgan like sharing some body scrub right now. We really? Do, yeah. use the same How the hell do I not know about that? I guess I have my own you, bathroom. Yeah, you're in your bathroom, Mr. Master Bedroom. Hey, Mr. It's master. not my fault that I got the master. It is your yeah, fault, exactly. 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 You said straight fault. away, as soon as we sign the place, all right, I'm taking the master. No, but it's not my fault. I just, it's not my fault. I just, I, I took it. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> I'm not at point. fault for anything. When you put it like that, I can't help that it goes. is like searching around for this dog. I think it must be the, the girl that got him inside. I know, he loves girls Should and children. Q&A. Yeah, let's Q&A do Q and A. Let's do Q and A. I think for once, we're gonna do like a serious. Have we done any serious Q and As yet? Sometimes, but I think we just get kind of carried away with like. I thought the one. Them... I thought the one with the Tesla was pretty serious, because we did like kind of advertise. Just another reminder that Ollie drives a Wait, Tesla. Wait, what kind of car do you have? Me? Yeah. Oh, it's a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> nice. For uh, the performance, <laughs> like Joe's, but it's still a Tesla. You're, you're on your way there. I'm buddy. a Tessie. Tessie. You want a couple more races? Maybe. Maybe. You... When I get more races, I get another bulldog. Yeah, <laughs> call it call her. Uh, I don't know, Georgina or something. Georgina, 
That'd be nice. It's a pretty good name. That'd be a nice homage. But this week's Q and A comes from Mr. Andrew, and we got Wait, a couple. Can you say that again, Andrew. Different Andrew to Chickpea Andrew. Different Andrew. This isn't Andrew Meany. This is Andrew K one one two seven on Instagram. Uh, as professional runners, what non running activities do you find most beneficial to your fitness? Sleep, diet, core, mobility, balance, strength, training, stretching, etc. And then along those lines, what types of runs do you find the most beneficial for you? So I think we just got the first part and we, we say, do no core. What non-running activities do you find the most beneficial to, to your fitness? I, ordering DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of B-dubs and Mountain Dew. A lot Dew. of ordering <laughs> fast food. I think, only drank a, a Mountain, a Zevia Mountain Dew. Yeah, it was morning. terrible. Yeah, it, yeah, it was like it was vegan and right. stuff. I was very it was vegan. vegan. No sugar As opposed to normal no Mountain, Mountain Dew, Dew which has got like what in it? It's probably got some cow. Wait, are you saying Mountain Dew or Mountain Dew? I don't know. Like it, <laughs> Mountain Dew. He says Mountain Dew. Normally, I would say Jew, but then Ollie's Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, it's Mountain yeah. Dew. Mountain Dew. It's Mountain Dew. We're going to go to NASCAR at some point. We're going to get a 1.25 liter Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, I think sleep for me. Yeah. Like sleep That's is just so important well. because I notice when I don't get enough sleep, I'm just cooked. We've almost, and we've been like, we're so competitive that we've been competing over who can sleep. Bro, don't even get most We're not competing with that because you will obviously win, George. Yeah. No. You, you sleep the longest but out of all of us. Going better, like, yeah. yeah. In terms of going to bed earlier. But at, like able to get to sleep, I feel like Morgan, you don't get to sleep at, like when you go to bed. You, well, like, the thing is, and, George, I you go into your room early, but I think sometimes you're still on your phone and stuff. All right, that's not quite. I'm not just. We have okay, George. Phone. We have no. holes in the wall. We can see. I mean, sometimes I, the sometimes I'm in bed and you're like Facetiming your girlfriend and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. All right. Yeah. Well, I just don't. Usually, want Facetimes to think I'm in on the shower phone. though. Yeah. <laughs> that's the funny thing because I can hear it from my room. <laughs> He's just Facetiming you in the shower. Oh, yeah, George I was does like, damn, George is just like able to get things in multitask. You know, like being able like, to like specifically. I go into the shower on a Facetime call. It's just if I'm already on one, I'm not going to hang up. If I. That's what I'm saying, you multitasking. Yeah. I, felt, I felt so bad like two weeks ago when I was on the toilet and I heard you FaceTime your girlfriend and you're like, oh, you want to come take a shower with me? <laughs> and then, and then, Wait, that's what he said? <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> and then he comes over to the bathroom and knocks on the door and he's like, oh, I think Morgan's in here. I was like, yeah, I'm in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still you're not going to come in here for another I, I still need a shower. <laughs> I felt pretty bad about that. Yeah. But so I always said sleep. Yeah. I also say sleep because everything else is just so secondary to like the amount of recovery benefits that mm -hmm. you get from sleep and we do strength training as well as a team which i find to be very beneficial but still i think nothing really compares to sleep i would put diet up there but ollie is an ongoing uh enigma yeah you're just constantly disproving all scientific <laughs> and well i tell you what maybe one day it'll it'll bite me in the bum i'll die at 50 i can't wait for that day yeah i'll die at 50 for a heart from a heart attack <laughs> But you'll have had a great 50 years filled with a lot of fried chicken, so... Would you no, want it to be any other way? <laughs> God, no. Hell yeah, brother. Um, um, what about you, George? Are you, yeah. What are you saying for that? I feel like I would probably agree. Right? I think it's just universal. Just because it's recently. Yeah, just mm. universal. But yeah, I love that we all go to bed early now because I just get off to that shit, man. Mm. Nine, I mean, it's going just... to bed at 9.30, reading a book. The, the thing is as well, when you wake up, up... When you wake up early in the morning after a good night of sleep it's just a good feeling too nothing compares to that and then the second part of the question was what types of runs do you find the most beneficial for you which mm. this is so hard to actually like break down and quantify because obviously training is just a very holistic thing and it's about it's stacking definitely weeks no individual thing yeah like personally yeah. i could it's say all of those things yeah. for a long time yeah i would say but yeah being able to get weeks and weeks in of the same like good work yeah quality that's then. definitely like the correct answer yeah i do like heels a lot though heels are fun i like i think I, heels are great like bang for your i butt. don't i don't I, like i've recently like enjoyed long runs i love long runs as well i just think that once you get into that groove it's just uh, very very satisfying long running with the boys not much compared to except I'm for last week last week sucked what was last week last week was uh cr cr yeah cr I, I just don't I, like running there i don't like oh, long yeah. running as much in boulder i'm gonna be honest I think it's really oh, dependent oh, on where okay, we go. Flag style. I think it's dependent on where we that go. Was, that's like the main run that's way better in flag. I'm and I think we Fiddick. go well, dude. If we easy did, runs, pretty comparable. If we didn't even long run long every week, man, just like I don't think it's that easy. good though. There's still just like cars and crossing roads and traffic. <sighs> yeah, in flag stuff, there. there's no cars. Everyone just walks. Yeah. Up <laughs> if you go, no, no one has a car. You just no walk, have to walk to flag. Did you know there's no cars in flag stuff? It's a paradise. It's an absolute paradise. Runners paradise. Sounds like end up on a road where you never see a person or a car and never have to. That sounds like the start of a horror movie. Anything. Yeah, like dude, someone's about to get scary. killed. Yeah. 
I'm not ever going for a run on my own in Flagstaff. I'm going to get killed. You're going to get kicker killed. Yeah. But. Beamish. Thank you for that Q&A. Yes. Appreciate it. Andrew, shout out. A little serious one this week. But with that, we're about at the 75 minute mark. And I don't even know what we talked about this week. I feel like we talked about. Well, we didn't really have a plan in place. I think we just wanted to kind of get some stuff off our chest, make fun of Ollie. Yeah. And enjoy our time. And yeah. I think... Um, so this is going to come out the day before Instagram. Yeah. So just so we oh. have it down on paper, we should say our official one week out predictions. I'm predicting NAU for the win and Connor Mance for the win, which is the most two obvious picks. What about women? Uh, I don't know. Nothing? No, I don't, no I, hot takes? I have no idea who's going to win. Yeah, we didn't really cover the women's side that well. Not. I don't really follow the women's cross country as close as I, as I do the men's. Hmm. I, I, I think know. I'm going to say the same thing, though, Mance, and hopefully the NAU men. I'm, I'm just going to say it because I don't want to get punched saying... by a Geordie, NAU for the win. You don't... I, I, I wouldn't punch you. Nah. I, 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 I have a soft spot for case. I have a soft spot for NAU. I just don't... I think they're going to turn up, and I think they're going to do well. Although, for the win, I think I'm going to pick Hicks. You really fucking like Hicks, don't you? I, I just... I have a feeling that he's going to... Is it his hair? He's going to win. What is it? Taron, T-Dog, no, it's... O'Neal. For the woman, it's it's because he it's because he goes to Stanford. It's because he's got a British accent. No. Wait, does he have a British accent? No, it's no, so American. He's American. Oh, he doesn't. Right. Um, a I huge, would say huge lit down. Actually, I would yeah. like to see because from, he looks British. I would say for my predictions though for Wisconsin, I'd love to see Wisconsin in the top eight. Yeah, top if eight. Top eight. Wisconsin hit top eight. As an awesome. alumni, I will not send an email to the AD that makes you get fired if they finish in top 10. But if they don't finish top 10... Then the email's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I already got the email drafted the email, up. The email's coming. I mean, I, I think Bob's going to run really well. I think Olin's going to do well. Yeah. Um, the girls are going to... They're doing really well. So it's a good time for Wisco. Um, and also, NAU's got a really good girl that could potentially... That's why that's said, dog. Potentially do well. So yeah. we should probably cover the girl's side. Maybe we should... Well, oh, she's got a better shaved head, so that makes it way faster. Taryn for the win. Super aerodynamic. Teams... Do it, she sh- she's cool. She shaved her head. Mm-hmm. I mean, That's she's sick. always had short hair, but now it looks freaking tight. That's sick. Damn, I'm actually she's excited to see her. Shave our heads. If she wins, if she wins, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Cool. I'm not I'm doing, doing that. that. Jordy, Jordy should shave his head. If yeah, it's shave. <laughs> yeah, I cannot imagine George without that beautiful head of hair. Did I shaved my head in college. We never. We were hanging out with you in college. You were in flicks. Yeah. With a zero. Wait, what? He said he shaved his head. Pictures of that. I've never seen. Freshman year or sophomore year. Raise money for cancer. It was tight. Oh, really? That's a good call. Did you do that? What's it? What's that called yeah, when they do that? Uh, it's called something. Greatest shave? No, I don't think. World's greatest shave. World's greatest shave. It's called world's greatest greatest shave, right? I don't know if that's. I've done that. I don't know if that's universal. That's just an Australian thing. That's Australian thing. I did that in high school. I'm not sure, but um. Anyway, let's with that. Uh, once again, thank you very much for everyone for listening and watching. We love each and every one of you, and we will see you next week. Bye bye. Peace. Bye.